I'm Murray Carey, and thanks for your company as we continue our coverage of the 1998 Australia Cup. Today, we focus on the women and the fight for individual all-round honours. This is a star-studded field with standout performers from the USA, Russia, China and Spain, not to mention our own team from Australia, led by Commonwealth Games star Zena McLaughlin and Trudy McIntosh. Yes, it really is shaping up as a great competition on here at the Glass bars, House Maryland in Melbourne. On Twelve on right great competitors from right around the world fighting for the Australia uh, Cup title. Tonight, Liz Chekovic joins me in commentary uh, today as we take a look at our China first competitor, well Fan Win Wen of China, on the beam. And it's always a difficult place to begin. Well, let's start with the front salto mount. Change leg leap, straddle jump connection. Very difficult flip. Second element called an anode. It's a half turn, front walk over out. Again, a difficult wolf jump connected to a front salto. So plenty of combination work in this routine. place to begin a competition particularly if there are a few nerves but no hint of anything there she was rock solid yes here's this flick half turn front walk over very very little margin for error on that element picks up quite a few bonus points in the connection and a combination dismount this is hard to do round off flick double twist and the only element that you can see a little bit of a deduction on in this routine Travel back slightly on the dismount. Oh, a good score to kick off her competition. Fan Wen with a 9.4. And this, our first look at Trudy McIntosh of Australia. The crowd certainly behind her, and this is one of the apparatus where she shines. Opening with the handspring front layout. It's absolutely amazing that she can over rotate that vault. Most gymnasts have trouble getting it around at all, but she's just got so much power. Kicks her heels over. Good height. Perfectly straight legs. What a shame about the steps at the end. The girls need two different vaults, and the scores will be average to come up with their final score. This time, half turnout. That's better. Start score for this vault is 9.9. .9. The previous vault was 9.8. Good stretch. Just a small amount of pike coming into the landing. She's only 12 centimetres taller than the vault itself. Yeah, she's tiny, but she's power packed. And Trudy McIntosh, a 9.4. The first competitor from Russia now, Nina Katseva, 16 years of age, from Moscow. She's looked very good in training on this apparatus, quite crisp worker. One and a half pirouette. Oh, that's unusual. She's missed that, been a little bit off direction, so fallen back onto the bar. Pike Jaeger hit her feet, lucky to be on the bar. So a bit unusual. To see this from this gymnast. And as I said, she looked very good in the training in the lead up to the event. Giant fall, giant half to eagle grip, half pirouette out, 
have a layer. Oh, she lifted her head up on the landing, hasn't made that around, so that's a shame for her. Katseva in all sorts of trouble early in this competition. Training is one thing, but the pressure of competition is another altogether. And here she picks up after she's missed that first swing, clips the heels on the bar. Good transition to the low bar, hitting directly in handstand, connecting to a stalter. On the dismount here, obviously doesn't kick it over enough, but just before she lands, lifts the head up and... Uh, Unfortunately, on her hands and knees at the end. Well, that's a disastrous start for the Russian Katseva with just a 7.862. From Belarus, Yulia Sadko. Sadko, a bit of a look-alike for Svetlana Korkina, current world champion, very similar style. Change leg leap, jump full turn. Flip, flip, rather a weak series, bent arms on both of those flips. Wolf jump three quarters, the legs need to come up higher. And there's a little connection, acrobatic and gymnastics together, front roll, changement jump. Another front salto connected to a jump. What the judges are looking for on those jump connections is the body has to keep moving no pause between the two elements and then they will award bonus points accordingly. Two and a half twists, rather a large leap forward. Well, she stayed on, but a few errors in that performance from Sapko. Runner-up in this year's national championships. Just generally the routine looked a little bit heavy. You can see the arms bending there. That is a weak series. No salto element within it. Two and a half twist. Taken large steps, so she may not be given the bonus points for that element. And Sapko picks up a 9.275. Next Australian on the vault is Melinda Cleland, the baby of this field. She's just turned 14. Beautiful Volta. Opens with a handspring front in tight position. little bit of a tuck knees just before she's coming into the landing perhaps a little bit early and also on all the vaulting the judges are looking for an opening of the body before landing a very large deduction for lack of opening in women's vaulting second vault now and same vault with a half turn beautifully timed She's a Melbourne girl. There's certainly plenty of family and friends here in the crowd today. Nice height from the horse. Small amount of direction just on the landing, but nothing too serious. And that's good work from the young Australian Melinda Cleland with a 9.025.